Hey what's up guys, Anthony here bringing you another tips video on Warface Global Operations. In this video I'm going to tell you why this gun here is the best gun to buy as a beginner, but also why you should stick with it all the way through to level 80. This is the Elite SAI GRY AR15, but we'll just call it the AR15 for the purposes of this video. And you see me use it for the other two videos that I've made already. If you haven't seen those, link will be up in the card just showing now. You're probably thinking now, how is he going to fill the whole video with just this gun? But with this one, I feel like it's going to be pretty easy. First off, let's talk about what you can actually see me doing. So I'm using auto fire. I think this gun works really well with auto fire. There's no need to learn how to do manual firing. Obviously, if you're coming from games like COD Mobile, you may be able to do manual firing anyway. So it's up to you. But just like I showed in my tips video, this gun works really well with auto fire. The gun comes with a holographic sight already attached to it, so even if you don't do any of the upgrades, you get the holographic sight for free. However, this holographic sight is very different to the ones that you're used to, because I feel, and probably you feel, that holographic sights take up a lot of the screen and you lose a lot of your peripheral vision. So I feel this holographic sight is the best one that you can get for an assault rifle, and you get it for free. So let's talk about damage from this gun. Early on in the game, there is only one gun that can beat this gun on damage, and that's the AK-47. However, with a higher effective range and rate of fire, you can put far more bullets down range more accurately, which means that your damage per second is a lot higher. It also has a magazine size of 30 bullets, which is matched only by the next Elite gun, which is the Elite AS Val. The Elite AS Val also has a lower range and firing rate, which means this gun beats it hands down. One more thing to point out, this gun is blue. It's not grey or any other pants colour. This has a little cool astronaut at the top of the magazine slot, which is so cool. So I've waxed lyrical about the good points in this gun. Does it have any bad points? And there are only two that I can think of. So although this gun is relatively cheap to upgrade in terms of gears, it is an elite gun, so it does cost gold to buy it in the first place. However, it only costs 950 gold, and you're probably sweating right now because I said 950. But that doesn't mean you have to go buy that much gold with real money. One way of getting this gun without having to spend any money is to win it in the video box. I got this gun from that box, and it was about the third time I did it. You can also get gold by completing the daily and the weekly tasks. When I completed the weekly ones to get the big gold chest at the end, I was lucky enough to win 4k gold from it, so I was able to buy the rest of the elite guns but also the beginner elite gear. So let's recap on this gun. Straight off the bat you get a cool paint job, a free holographic sight, the best damage range, magazine size and firing rate of any of the ARs early on in the game. This gun also gives you a great starting power because there is a power mechanic in this game. I've upgraded this gun all the way to the max. I've also put its power to about 160 and at level 52 this is doing me just fine. So I hope you like this video. I really enjoyed making it. I absolutely love this gun. Comment down below if there are any other guns that you like. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.